Hey survivors, welcome to my channel. This is Survival Specialist. Today we are answering two very basic yet very important questions. Question number one, what is seven days to die? And question number two, what is your purpose in this game? To find the answer to those two questions, stay with me until the end of this video. All right, guys, so you're here either because you're considering the buy seven days to die or you've done so because of a delicious discount that you found on Steam. And yes, the game gets dirty cheap from time to time on Steam. So watch out for those discount periods. OK, guys, so back to the question at hand. What is seven days to die? Well, the basic answer to that is it's a survival game. You get to headshot zombies, craft guns and vehicles and build structures and try to survive the wasteland of the zombie apocalypse. Seven Days to Die is one of the most played games on Steam and has been an early access game for seven years. No, you have not heard me wrong, seven as in Seven Days to Die. That being said, it is a constantly developing game and I've only witnessed it get better over the years. At its core, Seven Days is an open world sandbox game that allows you to roam the zombie land to your heart's will. There are five different biomes, forest biome, desert biome, winter biome, burnt forest biome and wasteland biome each presenting with its unique challenges and advantages. Perhaps one of the strongest elements of the game is the availability of tons of settings which allows you to change the difficulty on many different levels. Following this review video, I'll put out another video explaining the settings menu in detail. However, for the moment, we could just say that you can change every aspect of the game to make it as easy as cake, but you can turn it hell on earth. There are four very unique and massive maps that already come with the game which you can use to start your game. Or alternatively, you can use the game's map generator to create yourself a random map. Granted that, this process may take some time. But you don't have to do that if you really want a different map. You can go ahead and find other random maps created by other people and download those as long as you have the seed code for it. In this video, I'm not even gonna dare mention other mods, maps, or buildings that are created by other players since that requires a whole other video of its own. At this point, I must mention that Seven Days to Die has a very vibrant and awesome community that is beginner friendly and creates new content for everyone's entertainment. All right, going back to the game. As you might have already gathered, Seven Days gives you a wide variety of things to choose from, a lot of freedom, and it expands on this with an elaborate system of crafting and building. You have the freedom to build any structure ranging from simple towers to very complex mesas or very cleverly built structures that will allow you to defend yourself against hordes of zombies that will hunt you down every seven days. That's the name of the game. Now, while we're on the topic, let's clear one thing up. There are zombies everywhere at all times, but on days that are factors of seven, that is day seven, day 14, day 21, you get the idea. These brain-eating, bloodthirsty monsters seek you out and try to kill you, and there is no hiding from them. In this post-apocalyptic landscape, apart from various kinds of zombies that roam the land day and night, there are creatures like birds, dogs, wolves, direwolves, bears, snakes, coyotes, cougars, and even hogs that try to take away your life. So, what can you do to stop these menaces from bringing your untimely demise? Well, the game allows you to craft a range of melee weapons, such as a baseball bat that can have spikes on it, or a spear that can light zombies on fire. Or, you can craft ranged weapons, such as a bow or a crossbow. Are there guns in Seven Days to Die? Well, I think you get the idea. There are a range of weapons that you can craft, such as your classic Kalashnikov, to an SMG, to an M60, a normal pistol, to a Magnum handgun. Oh, did I mention the rocket launcher? Personally, I would feel very lonely if I didn't have my AK. By the way, you can also craft pipe bombs, dynamite sticks, hand grenades, several types of mines, and time-delayed explosives, if that's your kind. There are also a range of clothes and armors that you can craft that will reduce the damage that you take from zombies and protect you against the elements. Okay, next. So in seven days, you can also craft vehicles ranging from your modest bicycle to a very cool chopper. Did I also mention that you can make a gyrocopter and fly?
Having said that, it may prove crucial or even vital to bring along some fuel, or you may quickly find yourself in a very sticky and unpleasant situation. So, at this point, you might be thinking, 7 days seems like a very complex game. But, what's the point? Do I have a purpose? Well, that's the thing. 7 days leaves that completely up to you. You can experience the joys of 7 days to die on your own or with your friends in a PvE format by killing zombies with your weapon of choice, looting houses and buildings, building whatever structure you want, and or by picking up in-game quests from the trader. Or, if you're feeling adventurous and want to spice things up, you can join one of the many PvP servers. Whatever the setting may be, all you gotta do is stay alive. So, let's say everything went south and you could not stay alive. What happens? You respawn in your bed and try again. That's it. That's all. You can adjust the penalties that you will have when you respawn. But, as a beginner, I would advise that you keep them to a minimum. Once you get a hang of the game and develop a taste, you can play mods like Permadeath, which is basically you exiting the game once you die and deleting the game files. Well, some people enjoy it that way. Okay, so if you've made this far, there is a glimpse of hope. If you think that 7 days intrigues you from what you've heard in this video, then let me tell you that you have not even heard 10% of the story. If I was you, I would definitely consider buying it when it is discounted and giving it a go. I've been enjoying this game for the past 3 years and if this is your kind of thing, I can match that it will be worth your money and time. I'll leave the links in the description guys so that you can go ahead and visit the 7 days wiki, the 7 days subreddit and the facebook group so that you can get a better idea of what the game is like and what the community is like. Thank you for watching this video guys, I hope I was able to answer some of your questions regarding 7 days to die. If you like this stuff, go check out some of the other stuff from my channel and consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. I try to reply to everyone in a prompted fashion. That's it for the moment guys, until next time, you stay alive.